Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a two-in-one video. One where I'm going to show you a new mirror that I got from Miravana that they sent to me because I really need to show you the features of this mirror. Just two, it'll be quick. And then I'm going to get on to the tart swatches, which that will be quick as well because I just want to give you a couple of the new uh, colors and showcase them to you. I am going to insert a little test so that you can see, and I tried to angle it as best I could so that you could see that um, their mirror is indeed, and this is one of the benefits of their new mirror fogless and they call it a fogless shower mirror and it comes with instructions and everything <sighs> nada instructions and everything there are two things that i really appreciate about this mirror not only because it's small and fogless but look at this it mounts it can mount to a wall so my initial idea was that I would put this in my shower because of course it gets foggy in the bathroom my regular mirrors in the bathroom get all foggy because I tend to take hot showers which I heard you shouldn't really do but anyway so it gets really really foggy in there and I was thinking when I'm washing my hair at least I would have this mirror that is not fo that is fogless and I can have it mounted on the wall and you know just really watch as I'm doing my curls instead of what I typically do while I'm testing weird I know but okay so I get out of the shower and I <laughs> get some of the fog off and sometimes it takes putting water on the mirror itself so that I have those few seconds just to check out the curls and see what's happening it's a process it's a process so anyway I was saying oh this fogless mirror is going to be great but then as I looked at the instructions and it's not to say that I can't go in the shower because it's called the fogless shower mirror but the fact that I'm not going to put it I said certainly wouldn't put it under the shower head it would have to be on the other side but then I have to make sure that the shower head isn't like spraying it because they tell me in the instructions or on the box that this mirror is sprayed with a particular chemical and because that chemical is on it you don't want water just pouring down running onto the mirror because then that will help to release or remove the chemical that's making it remain fogless so you don't want to do that so that's the first thing I love about this mirror and you've seen in the test that it actually is fogless because I can I can do on a regular mirror and you see the fog right so no fog on the one that you just saw when I did the breath test on that little fogless mirror the second thing that I love about this fogless mirror suction cup this is how it sticks to the wall you don't have to nail anything in you don't have to put any tacks or anything and hang it from there and let me show you I'm going to try this little test and just show you I'm going to try and do it from here and of course this part I'll show you the third thing that I like this moves like this so you could angle it as you need to guys may even like this for shaving but do they but anyhow this don't take this off okay leave that all on and I'm just going to show you this this is let's pretend this is the wall this is just the Miravana box that it shipped in or it was actually in another box too, but this is the box the mirror was in. And I'm going to do this, and then you just gently go to the right, twirl it to the right, and look. Bada bada bing, bada bada bang, boop, looking in the mirror, and it's hanging from the box. <laughs> now I'm sure that the weight of the mirror may be too much so I don't want to push it but on a wall I did mount this on the wall in my uh, bathroom and it was fine. And then when you're ready to take it off just uh, twist in the opposite direction and it's off no longer mounted so I really like it I'll have the link below if you're ready to uh if you are interested in purchasing it and now I'm going to get down to these tart lip swatches okay this is from their uh, lip paint collection these are their mattes they come in these types of boxes you saw one friend of me which I purchased at the makeup show for 12 bucks but they had a friends and family sale recently so I was able to score these because as I mentioned I'm not about that $20 lipstick life anymore for the most part so um, I got these for 30% off and I paid $14 for it so just two dollars more than I paid for it at the makeup show so you too can basically when they have these sales score it at almost makeup show prices so cool so I'm going to go from the lightest to the darkest two of these shades are from their new lip paint collection because they released a series of browns now I almost want to say that this is kind of the nude collection because from even if you're fair skinned there are some browns in here that are lighter than even the brown that I have that can work for you as a possible nude though some people may need more of a pinky nude but um, all the way up to what could serve as because it's a deeper brown shade a nude for a person with an even darker hue than I have so I'm going to start off with um, crop top um, choker choker is the one that I said mm, I may need a lip liner but no I don't let me just show you and again the consistency everything is the same except when I first watched um, frenemy for you in the makeup show video or whenever I swatched that I said you know it could be worked with but it was kind of 
a little patchy which happens sometimes with darker shades but you can work it out because it's such a moussey formula uh, I'm going to swatch this on my hand first but what I'm going to tell you is that yes it's a moussey formula and this is choker on my hand and it's a moussey formula but because it's so moussey and creamy and moves around you can just put more in the spots where you need for one that is a little patchy I can tell you all the rest that I got not patchy at all and I think it's because it's not as dark as frenemy and it just works in a slightly different way though the consistency of them they're all moussey they are all much like in a similar way the color pop satins where you can kiss and kiss and yes it will transfer these transfer uh, but it's just that you transfer less the longer you have it on your lips so if I'm wearing this um, 10 hours I'm going to have less transfer when I kiss or drink from a bottle at hour 10 than I had at hour one so it does stay on your lips to some degree and it gives you a matte finish but um, actually it does a good job of staying on your lips and you have a matte finish but it will always transfer something something is going to transfer so let's do choker on the lips so there is no drying time involved here look at this wait till you see choker I'm using a mirror and I still did a sloppy swatch. Okay, I'm just going to um, apply choker. And look, I think I am just made it without needing to put on a liner, right? What do you think? Do I need a liner? Mm -hmm. Choker. I think it's so, so, so cute. I love it. And these all have like a little minty, tingly feeling to them. So um, you'll feel that. And that doesn't bother me at all. But it's not intense. It's not like a tense tingle. And in fact, that feeling kind of dissipates over time anyway. But this is Choker. And I love it. This is the lightest I could go. There were shades lighter than this. Because they have one that's like a gray tone brown. And it had some other one that would have been definitely liner necessary. But I didn't pick that one up. So I got choker which is one of their new browns and I'll show you their other new brown that I picked up I didn't pick up the deeper new browns because I feel like I have um colors that are pretty much like that already animate and I have limbo from ColourPop and I have you know other browns I didn't need that so choker is off the lips and now crop top look at this so you can see the difference I put these on Instagram anyway but here's the difference between choker and crop top this is crop top and I'm just going to swipe this along my hand as well so you get that swatch and of course it has the typical doe foot applicator and here is choker so you can see we're already shades deeper with choker now I'm going to apply this and you saw I was able to just wipe it off because it's a a moussey thing and because I didn't have it on long and it's not one of the deeper shades it's not like it was staining my lips or anything we didn't get to that point in the day I had it on very briefly okay this one also of course no liner because this one is darker this I think is a great great nude for me uh look at this crop top mm, 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 mm. crop top and <laughs> you can keep layering this if you want but it feels just creamy and moussey and light on the lips I love the feeling of these and the appearance of these are great too especially now that I know I would certainly buy more of these especially now that I know that frenemy was the only kind of patchy one and you'll see the other two colors that I got these were a part of their original um lip paint collection these are kind of on the dark side too but not patchy so I'm going to show you that and I'm, I'm doing the lipstick removal process right here because boom I just take it off like that <laughs> that's how easy that is and I'm going to do next I'll do this one this was a, it's called mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know what that last one is so I'll deal with that one in a second this one is hangry how could I have forgotten that because I'm so often hangry it's when you're angry and hungry <laughs> so yes ugh, I'm a hangry gal when I am hungry mm -hmm. okay and so this is hangry Look. So see? Not looking patchy, looking good. And then I'm going to just do some on the top row. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to, of course, put it on the hand just so you can get that swatch. <clears throat> Sorry of hangry ah, so cute kind of like a berry color look at that hangry mm, I can put a little more just so you can see that a little better hangry 
and hangry on the lips. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you the last one that I purchased, which is Man Burn. <laughs> Where did they get these names from? <laughs> but anyway. Um, so yeah, so I got that off. And here is Man Burn. I'll put it in the hand first. It's kind of like a... It's like I feel like there are brown undertones in this, but it's also like red base too. So this is Man Burn. Right, so Man Burn there. And now on to the lips. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so creamy, seriously. Now, I heard that the um, Ofra Cosmetics lipsticks are kind of creamy, too. And I just ordered my first batch of them. So we'll see when they arrive how they uh, compare to some of the other liquid lipsticks that I own. Look at that. 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 Patchy wear. And this is dark. Look at this. Man burn. Mm -hmm. Man burn, the last one. So man burn, hangry, crop top, and choker. Right? And these two, the first two, the browns, are part of their new uh, lip paint collection with just browns that they released. And these two were part of their original collection. And just for kicks, I'll just swatch and show you Frenemy 2, which was the uh, original lip paint that I purchased from them. It's the darkest one right here. That's front of me. But see, even with this swatch, see how it looks a little... Let me try and line that up. But yeah, that just sometimes happens with some of the darker colors. I'll try and make that look a little more presentable. My swatches are always the worst, but there we go. You can still see the light patches through it, whereas these just look like solid color. Right, but anyway, so that's frenemy, but this is man burn on the lips. Maybe for kicks, if you just want to see frenemy on the lips, let me just um, do that. I probably need to start doing those side-by-side -side swatches. Now, see, Man Burn left a little color uh, on the lips. But I have done lip swatches with just Frenemy in the past. But I'm just going to put this on, even though the lips looks a little pink now. Because it's like a little Man Burn was maybe left behind. But, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I am definitely, definitely getting this uh, fogless mirror mounted back in my bathroom so at least what I'll do is I won't have it probably in the shower but I put it right outside of the shower so that I don't have to go to the spot where I normally go to in the bathroom to look in the mirror I'll just be closer oh and because it's angled I can probably angle it towards the shower so that I'm still inside but can still check the curls so this is friend of me so I did work out the patching this relatively fast this time so look at it so that's friend of me and um, yeah and the fogless mirror so here is friend of me the links for everything will be down below Thank you to Miravana for sending out this cool mirror. And I'm just so, so, so waiting for you guys to come out with. Because all the mirrors that you have sent me so far, these two, have done everything that you've claimed that they would do. And they haven't chipped or anything like that, like the coloring on the original mirror and stuff. So I, and I'm just knowing for a certainty that when you come out with that LED mirror... It's going to be awesome, okay? So, looking forward to that. But thank you so much for this mirror. It's cool. Everybody, uh, here's the lip swatches. Okay, so, this is just a small addendum. I already filmed the video that you saw about the mirror. But later on in the day yesterday, I actually used it as I described that I would. Putting it outside of the shower. And I had it affixed there so I could use it as I was washing my hair. And all was good. I actually had it affixed to the wall two hours, roughly two hours, before I actually jumped in to start washing my hair. It was a perfect Fine. everything was great now I'm in about halfway in through the shampooing process and the mirror dropped off thankfully I have like a really fluffy uh, rug so it didn't crack or anything like that it's perfectly fine I picked it up and I said hmm, what's going on as you can see right here in my bathroom I actually have tiles on the wall so what I wanted to say is that as I was taking my shower it's like the moisture was like dripping down the tile and I think some of that moisture got in between the suction cup and the wall and it made the suction less uh, sucky um, so it was no longer able to really adhere to the wall and it fell off. I wiped down the wall with a, um, a towel and it became dry again. I re-affixed that mirror 
it didn't come off again so everything was fine so I just am mentioning this because I want you to be aware of the type of wall or whatever you have in your bathroom or wherever you plan on um, using the mirror especially if it's a place where there will be moisture in the air and it may become humid and things like that so just to be aware but I still like the mirror it still worked because after I wiped down the wall it never came off again and I used it through the remainder of my hair washing process the conditioning and all that stuff and I take pretty long and hot um, <laughs> showers so um, it never came off again so just make sure that the surface is really really smooth and no moisture is there and you should be good to go Cheers. i hope you enjoyed let me know what's new for you this week and i will talk to you all soon what do you guys look for in a mirror by the way if you want to let me know what do you look for in a mirror i know we look into it and stuff like that but are there any other features or anything that you would like to see in a mirror that will be like your mainstay mirror let me know i will talk to you all soon thank you so much for watching